Adventures with Ben and Matt. <laughs> I want someone to come up with a jingle for us. So we're on another adventure. Yeah. Uh, we're going ice fishing. Going ice fishing. And too fast on the road. <laughs> ben, pay attention to your drive. When we were singing, I got excited. Uh, so why are we going uh, ice fishing, Ben? Well, we're continuing our quest, looking for more local adventures. Right. We found out that fishing is free in Alberta on Family Day weekend. Which means no license required. Right. And since we are cheap and trying to do adventure on a budget, uh, we thought it would work out really good to go. So, we know a guy, because all adventures start with, I know a guy, uh, and his name is Ben McPherson. Ben McPherson um, is a big fisherman. The hard part is, other than the fish part, I find it generally to be like probably one of the single most boring things <laughs> on the planet. But I, I think our advantage with ice fishing is I don't think you have to be silent because I'm sure the ice like does something with the sound. Yeah, maybe. Or amplifies. You it. know what else <laughs> impacts on your like need to be silent? What? How much you care about catching a fish. Ugh. Like personally, I hate oh. eating fish. There's a going on over. Was I going really fast? Oh shoot. Oh no. Yep. Don't turn it off. Yeah. So uh, we just got pulled over. We got by the pulled police. over, and I say we got pulled over. Yeah. As in, we were both equally responsible. <laughs> Together, as a unit, for getting clocked at 77 kilometers an hour, and I think, I assume, hopefully a 60 zone, but probably a 50 zone. So. Uh, I wasn't meaning to be bad. It was not looking, it was looking like we were almost out of it. I want everybody to know, I'm not a bad person. I wish we were good looking. <laughs> I haven't driven through Leduc before. Or, I wish I could cry. I can cry, actually. Maybe I should just start crying. <laughs> I get excited when I talk sometimes. Ah, that's excuses. <gasps> okay, I made a mistake. I'm being accountable. I shouldn't have, I should have been paying attention. All right, I'm going to turn this off before it comes back. So, uh... <laughs> back on the road! We have this fancy yellow piece of paper. So, free fishing day just turned into $105 <laughs> fishing day. <laughs> oh, yep. And I've learned my lesson. Is, is the, what's the speed limit right now? I don't even know. Do they have signs around here? Uh, I wish I had that GPS thing. I'm so used to the GPS thing. I certainly wouldn't consider myself a fisherman. I've been fishing a number of times in my life, but quite a small number. You look like a fisherman today. Like, outdoorsy. It's, it's Husky the Musky from Kenora, Ontario. Put them on the map. I suspect you have to have a great first fishing experience, and then that's what hooks you. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> made a joke. We didn't. We weren't a fishing family, so I never really did it. Uh, I remember a few times my dad went ice fishing with friends, and I was like six or seven, and I fell in the hole twice. <laughs> Not like submerged, <laughs> but like my legs would fall in. <laughs> How did that happen? You have to be paying attention. Obviously, uh, I'm not yeah, good at paying I know, attention. I'm starting to understand, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I remember one one year we were in Clear Lake, Manitoba. Was it clear? Uh, it, it's Yeah, it's kind of a clear lake. <laughs> and that's, uh, you can't really name a lake. Kind of a clear lake. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we were with, they were there with my, uh, my grandpa, Stoby, and we spent, I don't know, some part of the day fishing. Nothing. Caught, like, nobody, nobody had it. And so I was... I was, you know, my my fishing level already be interest already being on the decline. I was I was pretty down about that. And Grandpa was just just heart set on me catching a fish. Uh, so down like at the dock by where, by where we were staying, 
there was we saw some fish in the water and they were like just little perch um, but grandpa was just he, I was going to catch a fish that day so he, I think we had to go buy some different bait and we just, I just like dropped our hook like in the water the like fish. yeah and they were like like hardly big enough even to bite the the hook but we I got one so like how big was it right I have a I have a picture okay of, of, of the, the only one that I can find is is me like holding the fish way out in front of me <laughs> like you know to get that perspective skewing the camera yeah, angle. Exactly. <laughs> so it's really hard to say accurately right but it was on the small side <laughs> quite clearly but he caught a fish I caught a fish secret I don't actually think it takes any skill and talent to go fishing <laughs> This is my sister Cassie. Uh, she's married to my brother-in-law Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time. Have you gone regular fishing? Well, I guess you did. Yes, but I'm scared Scotia. of fish, so I don't really do it very often. <laughs> What's the most scary part about them? They are quick and they'll eat your soul. <laughs> your soul. They're like mice. <laughs> <laughs> no, mice are legitimately terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> fish, not so much. You're so brave. I don't think people recognize how brave <laughs> that our hops genetics. Just you slept in the sleep. car because you wouldn't sleep with the mice in the cabin. Yeah, because they were squeaking. Okay. They well. were like so bold, they could squeak openly. <laughs> <laughs> openly squeaking. <laughs> Why won't we got a fish yet? <laughs> it's so boring. This is all we do. <laughs> Matt! We're bored! <laughs> you wanna hold the fishing rod? <laughs> I know it looks like a stick, but it's a fishing rod, I guarantee you. <laughs> ben, have you ever heard of fishing with Hubba Bubba? That is, uh, that is something I haven't, haven't yet tried. Yet. So, we, we did some, uh, some online research before we came. And one of the things that we found out is that many fishermen use hubba bubba as a as a bait. Now, well that, yeah. Christopher, Christopher, what color? What fish? What color do the fish like? What which color should I pick? Red. Red. Good choice. This is watermelon flavored hubba bubba. I don't know if that's a good choice or not. It's got we'll green find out. And it's got red. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to chew it up a little bit first, apparently. So you gotta release the flavor yeah, but not, molecules. Not so much that the flavor dies. So you about 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, this is a little bit hard, Hubba Bubba. You just have to like offend a jackfish and then like a hook. That's true. Like you're so rude in their like, territory. What sorts of things it? offend jackfish? Can, can we yell, jackfish? Can we yell <laughs> offensive things into the water? <laughs> I'll, I'll show you the hook I've caught the most jackfish. Your right. mother's a bass! <laughs> Ooh. Do you have like a... Like a favorite experience that you've had fishing or in May of twenty fifteen I managed to get to the uh, Hermitage trout pond like a day or two after they had stocked it. And I think I stopped counting at fifty. Wow. Fifty fish? Yeah. Right. It needs oh, to melt. Yeah, mine disintegrated. That doesn't look appetizing at all. Matt. Dare you to put that in your mouth and chew it. Do it. <laughs> okay, that's long enough. Okay, Cheetos. Now. It's not, it's not, it's not gonna work. Okay. Okay. okay, that's all right. Now we know. Edenai me. How do you say it? Edamame. Right? Edaname. Edaname beans <laughs> for the discerning fish palate. I think 
I've got some beef jerky. So I've got the meat, which we know fish are carnivores, predators. And some fatty beef jerky. It's gonna, it's gonna have a little bit of smell, but and that greasy oilness. But the trick to get bites is not just the bait. It's bait flavoring. Mm, yeah. So I brought some robust, full-bodied Canadian whiskey, and I'm gonna put it on that bait, and I'm gonna catch me a fish. It's not a waste. It's not a waste. When I catch that fish, and it's already seasoned from the inside out. What about <laughs> what about when you don't catch the fish? I'm not gonna. Okay. A little bit for me. I thought I could do it. I thought I could. Okay, let's do that one again. Let's do it again. It just looks like syrup, so you can. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, shh. Stop! Okay. No. A little bit for me. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> so maybe Matt should be doing this more. Oh, that's awesome. I know. I'll just fake drink it. <laughs> okay. A little bit for me. You didn't swallow, Ben. <laughs> Shut up.